Well, it was the ultimate California Christmas today, but this taste of summer isn't sticking around. Meteorologist Mary Yoon has the details in your next weather. Oh, no, we are going back to winter. Old man winter here to stay, uh, as we head towards uh, Tuesday, in fact. Uh, but taking a live look, uh, this is over Long Beach. Yes, this is over Long Beach. Uh, we are looking at Christmas colors even on this Christmas evening. It's going to be a really nice night out there, uh, a nice way to just close out this holiday weekend. Uh, here's what's next, though. It's going to be a beautiful Monday, still looking at seasonally warm temperatures and sunshine. Uh, but as we head towards Tuesday and beyond, we're going to be tracking a parade of storms. So uh, there will be a break between these storm systems, but it is definitely going to be very active this week. And then those temperatures, unfortunately, are going to come back down even below our seasonal average. So we're going to need the jackets once again. Today, we certainly didn't need it because we were in flip flops and short sleeves. Tomorrow looks pretty good, and then a big drop by Tuesday, and that's also going to be accompanied by the chance for rain as well. So here's what it looks like in future cast. You'll start to see this cold front start to push through, and the bulk of the rain is actually going to be targeting northern and central California, but we're going to be on the tail end of the system. So we could still see some light to moderate rainfall out of this, and this pushes east Tuesday overnight. We get a break on Wednesday, and then you can see right in the distance another storm that is going to be pushing in towards California as well. And then we get a break on Thursday. And then as we head towards the first of the new year, there's also indications we could see even a stronger storm system. So I want to bring in our water vapor imagery. You can see this is where all the moisture is, a conveyor belt of moisture. And so that's why we're calling this a weak atmospheric river. And you can see as we head further out, there is a lot of moisture with this system. So as we continue to track these storms that are targeting the West Coast, you'll know why we're going to be seeing some tremendous rainfall totals. For us, I think right now, the Tuesday evening to Wednesday storm could be looking at maybe a half an inch of rain, higher amounts towards the foothills. Tomorrow, this is what it looks like. 80s downtown Ontario, San Bernardino, and even Riverside. 59 towards Big Bear City. So this is one projection where the models are picking up some rainfall totals. And right now, it looks like close to an inch. Uh, and there is definitely some indications that we could see a lot of rainfall with this. But I think for the basin, uh, we're looking more closer to maybe half an inch, maybe up three quarters of an inch at best. Over the next seven days, though, it's nice on Monday, colder on Tuesday, looking out for that rain to overspread Tuesday night. Similar story for the valleys as well. And then you'll notice it's going to get even progressively colder. By Thursday, we'll be topping out in the 50s, and that's a high temperature. Similar for the Inland Empire as well, and it does look like as we head towards the end of 2022 it is going to be a little unsettled it's going to be on the chilly side as well and we could be even starting 2023 on a wet note as well and that is your next weather forecast ross and tina back to you